Hello everyone, it's me Uncle John. Today we're going to read S5 5010. I wonder why the telephone rings. <clears throat> Page 4. Why do we communicate? Communication is all about swapping information. If we didn't share our discoveries, we'd have to learn everything from scratch. We would have no way of knowing that fire burns, for example, until we would have been hurt. There would be no such thing as a favorite book. Most of all, sharing our feelings with other people makes life more enjoyable because we can have friends. How do we communicate? When we are with someone, they use their voice and even their body language to communicate with us. When someone is a long way away, they can get in touch on the telephone or send us a letter. But people we have never even met communicate with us too. In the books, in the books they write, or the TV programs and films that they make. How do our senses help us to communicate? We receive uh, information about our world with our senses. Taste, touch, and smell tell us about things up close and with our, with, our eye, with our eyes and ears, we can see and hear what is happening further away. How do you talk with your fingers? Sign language is a useful way to communicate if you are unable to hear or speak. Some signs stand for letters, but most words don't need spelling out. Commonly used ones have their own signs. When does the nose know best? The nose can be very useful in dangerous situations. You might not be able to see or hear gas escaping, but you can certainly smell it. Your nose stops you from eating rotten food too. Try smelling a carton of milk that's past its sell by date. How does your body talk? You don't need to talk to be understood you can use your body just think how many different ways you can say hello to someone without speaking depending on where in the world you are you might wave shake hands kiss cheeks nod your head give a big bear hug slap palms in a high five rub noses or bow why is nothing rude if you make a ring with your thumb and four finger in friends, it means nothing. Or that something is worthless. But if you made the same gesture in the Middle East, you'd be rudely telling someone to get lost. In Japan, it stands for money. And in the United States, you'd use it to say okay. Why don't animals talk like humans? Uh, nearly all animals have voices, but none of them is as developed as a human voice. Your vocal cords, tongue, lips, teeth, and nose help you, help you to make thousands of different sounds. Scientists have tried to teach apes to talk, but they could only copy a few simple words, like parrots. Why do cats purr? Cats can talk, but they can still let us know how they feel. When cats purr, it lets us know they are content. But sometimes they purr if they are hurt to comfort themselves. Who beats with their feet? It can be very noisy in the rainforest. So Malaysian tree frogs don't croak to, croak to communicate. The females tap their toes on the leaves. A human couldn't hear or feel this delicate vibration, but the male frogs can and come from all around to answer her call. When did a picture first tell a story? Over 20,000 years ago, prehistoric people painted pictures on cave walls to tell stories of a hunt, for example. And these paintings tell us a story too. They tell us that prehistoric people could make paint from earth, charcoal, and plants. What can a window teach you? 
stained glass windows uh, used in churches to show sin from the Bible. Long ago, very few people could read, but they could look at the pictures and learn a story, such as the story of Noah and the flood. Why did knights have coats of arms? When knights started to wear a helmet, it was impossible to tell who was who, especially in the thick of a battle. So every knight had a coat of arms, a design which decorated his shield, his lance, and even his horse. This made sure no one on his own side would confuse him with the enemy. What's a dead language? A dead language is one that no one speaks anymore. 2,000 years ago, the Romans spoke Latin to one another. Although Latin is still taught in schools, it isn't anyone's native language today. So we call it dead, who started talking. No one knows how or when people first spoke. They might have started by copying sounds around them such as the whistling of the wind. One of the first words probably meant attack. By communicating with words, humans could help each other more easily. Do languages change? New words are being created all the time. Just think of all the new discoveries we have made during the last hundred years. Since we've been exploring space, the words spaceship, blast up, and astronaut have all been invented. When did writing begin? The first real writing system was invented by the Sumerians over 5,000 years ago. They used small pictures called pictograms to stand for objects and ideas. Soon they invented the pictograms for sounds too. Then any word that could be said could be written. Who wrote on plants? The ancient Egyptians did. They used the stalks of the papyrus plant, which was found by the river Nile. They cut the stalks into thin strips, which they pressed together into sheets. Our word paper comes from papyrus. Who wrote in secret code? The Vikings wrote using runes, which were all drawn with straight lines. The word rune means secret. Very few people could read or write thousand years ago. Some of them even thought that anyone who could understand the runes must have magical power. Why did the typewriters drive you crazy? People are often scared of New invention. When the first typewriter went on sale in 1874, some doctors said that using one could make you go mad. How does my letter reach my friend? When you post your letter, it gets taken from the post box to the nearest post office. There, it's sorted into a sack without a, without a mail for the, same, for the same area. So always write the address clearly. The sack with your letter in it, with your letter in it, is sent to the post office. There is to your friend's house. From there, it gets delivered by hand. When was it bad to have friends? Long ago, if you got post, you had to uh, pay whoever delivered it. Pricey if you were popular, but in 1840, Roland Hill set up the post office system we know today. From then on, it was the person who sent the letter who paid for it to be delivered. How are picture books printed? Every picture in this book was painted, uh, printed using just four colors, black, yellow, 
magenta, and cyan. Magenta is a type of red and cyan is blue. As a paper written, each color is added separately to make different shades. Page 21, how are newspapers made? With the help of lots of people, reporters go off the, off the Reporters go off and write the stories, and photographers go to go to and take pictures. The editor decides which item should go in the paper. Designers put us words and put finally a machine prints and folds the pages. Why does the telephone ring? The telephone rings to let you know that someone wants to speak to you. So if your friend dials your number, your phone rings out. When you answer, an electric current carries your voice along the line. And your friend hears you loud and clear. How can glass link the world? Optical fibers are held in strands of glass, twisted into cable. They have been laid on the all on the all the oceans and act as highways for anything from phone calls to TV programs. Informational information travels al along them at the spread of night. A phone lines just for voices? Voices aren't the only things that travel along a phone line. With a video phone, you can see a picture of who is telephoning as well. With the fax, you can send letters, photos, and drawing. And uh, computers use phone line to communicate with one another too. How does my stereo play a CD? The bottom of a CD may look shiny, but it's covered with billions of tiny bumps as a CD whizzes round itself. Inside the screen, a laser beam shines on the bumps. The beam reads their pattern like a code and then sends a message to the speakers to tell them exactly what sounds to make. Who sent the first radio broadcast? First proper radio, uh, radio set that sent messages using radio waves and, and was built by Giuliano Marconi, but he wasn't the person who proved the waves of waves existed. That was the scientist Heinrich Hertz. When is a communication out of this world? Satellites are spec spec spacecraft that help us to communicate long distance. T they send radio, TV, mm. They send radio, TV, telephone, or computer signals from one country to another. In a quarter of a second, they pick up the signals from giant dishes on the Earth called the Earth stations and send them on to other dishes. Are all aliens trying to communicate with us? There is no proof that extraterrestrials exist at all. But just in case there are any tra trying to get in touch with us, Monster side radio, just picking up radio down. From space, have been no alien beat broadcast yet though. How does the news appear on TV? Journalists can send words and pictures back to the newsroom. 
even from remote areas, they use a portable satellite transmitter to beam their report up to uh, ComSat in space, and then ComSat bounces it down to the TV station. So we see so uh, and the ComSat bounces it down to the TV station. So we see what is going on within a second of it happening. Who put the noise into silent movie? The first movies didn't have any sound. Pianists played along with them to set the mood. The first long film with sound was The Jazz Singer in 1927. It was a huge hit. And silent movies soon disappeared. Is virtual reality just for fun? When you put on a virtual reality helmet, you could be exploring a spooky castle or zooming into space. A computer makes it seem as if you have traveled to a different place, but virtual reality can also be used to teach people how to drive or to help students, doctors, praise the elephant. Uh, to drive or to help student doctors practice operations without harming anyone. Why do we use computers? Computers can store millions of times more information than we can. They let us swap information with one another too. Using a clever gadget called a modem, a computer can connect to another, another one just along the phone line. The network is called internet and users say they are surfing the net the end